All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're back for some more pain, and that pain being the mechanical bosses, which so far in the Let's Play have actually proved to be more of a challenge than I first anticipated. Going into this saga of the Let's Play, I really did believe that we would have a fairly easy time. I mean, there's been challenges throughout the Let's Play, but I just thought, what can they really do to the mechanical bosses to make it ultra painful? It turns out there's a lot they can do, and they did it. But yeah, in today's episode, we're cracking on with the pursuit of finally taking down one of these bosses. Like yesterday, I've got many hours in my day to put towards this. I'm very excited about that. And I feel really optimistic. Yesterday, I think, was the low point, me figuring out, hey, this is really, really hard. But today, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. So, the first thing I did today is I made a Sky Fracture. Now, this is just another weapon that was recommended by you lot. And what I like about this, honestly, is that this is another weapon which I haven't used before. And it's really strange because here I am playing this modded version of Terraria. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, good chance to, to check out a vanilla weapon. So we have this. It's really awesome. I, I do quite like it. I'm not sure how good it's going to be. Not tested it yet. Um, and then we also have the, the Spirit Flame as well if we need it. That being said, I've been noticing that we've had a lot of recommendations. And so far, I think that the two biggest recommendations, the ones that have really risen to the top, are the Adamantite Enchantment and this bad boy right here, the Bionomic Cluster. What is this? <laughs> what is this? It's a big accessory. So these are all items. They're rear items from rear enemies. And that's just a thing. Now, I'm going to hold off on this. I'll be honest. I feel like grinding for this will kind of knock me back a little bit. But that being said, the good thing about all of this is that if you actually manage to get the rear uh, enemy, you can always buy summons. And I think that makes it better. So we do actually have, we have the deviating energy, which is great. We also have the Santa time, which is awesome. And we have another one, I'm fairly certain. We have Nymph's perfume. We know we have that. But the rest is, yeah, we don't have. Maybe, do we have the Frigid Gemstone? I think we might actually have that one as well. I know I don't have a Wyvern one. This one's from a Rainbow Slime. So yeah, I will work on that because it is something that, that you lot recommend. And hey, you lot know a lot more than me about this kind of thing. Sometimes, I don't know. Yeah, the other one was the Adamantite Enchantment. Now, I don't know if they have changed the recipe, maybe. Uh, I need to go back, one sec. Yeah, I don't know if they've changed the recipe, maybe, but um, you can't make that at this point in the game anymore because you need a Venom Staff. And to get a Venom Staff, what do you need? Tom Hardy. That's right. I don't have Tom Hardy. Um, <laughs> no, you need um, you need Chlorophyte, basically. I, I don't have Chlorophyte. What did you lot think of the, the new Venom trailer yesterday? I, I, can't, I can't rack my head around whether I like the concept of the Venom movies or not. Or maybe I'm just indifferent to them. I can't tell. Courtney's a fan, but I watched that trailer yesterday and I was like, I don't think this is good. <laughs> but I reckon other people watched it and was like, this is amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> what can I even say? Um, so I'm starting today's episode in the rain. We got the, the background glitch again. That's fine. Um, because I was looking at that bionomic cluster and I was like, ah, rainbow slime. I can get a rainbow slime because I know how to get one of those. It's a rear enemy in the Hallowed during the ring. It doesn't sound too bad. So I'm just going to linger around for a little bit and see if we can get one of those to, to spawn in. You never really know, to be honest. Rear enemies are rear enemies for a reason. Herald the Cloth in? I don't know, man. <laughs> Does it sound right to me? I just want to say, by the way, um, here I am using uh, my, my weapon from yesterday and not this one. The reason being is because it's homing. And I think if I'm just doing light farming, I'd rather have something that's, that's homing. It makes it just easier and quicker. Also, big announcement. Well, I kind of spoke about this the other week. But one of the projects I worked on is finally coming out. And I think it's about a week from now, maybe. And it's not a video, but it's very exciting. It's very, very very exciting so i'll have a video about that when it's time Ooh, cryptic i know 
But yeah, I'm just really excited. We, I just got an update on it today and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I cannot wait to show people. Anyway, right. Let me um, linger around for Rainbow Slime. But today's episode is all about boss attempts and all that. It'll be like yesterday. I'm gonna, I've got a nice chunk of time today to record and to sit down and try some stuff out. Caleb, I apologize for the insanely inaccurate death counter now. Because I'm cutting so many deaths out of each episode. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so that's a rainbow slime then. I did wonder. I was like, what is firing at me? I've got confusion, which is not great. Uh, can I end the confusion? Great. Great. Oh, my God. As if it spawned there of all places. I saw it and I was just like, ah. Now that's, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, I don't know if Fargo, Fargo Man's already fought ahead with this. Maybe he has. Maybe he hasn't. Royal gel. Royal gel. I'll say no more. I'll say no more. Okay, I think we've got another royal slime. Uh, rainbow slime. Whatever. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> All right. The royal gel doesn't seem to be working. I, I should. I should have said more. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is awful. Why are all the? Oh my god. <laughs> what Fargo? <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> I can't even get the rear enemies to help me with my rear accessory to help me with the really hard bosses. <laughs> I am doomed. I should accept defeat right now. This series, get ready for it. 80 episodes. <laughs> Strap in, all right? We're going through the whole summer. It's not even summer yet, but by the time this is done, it will be. You know what will be finished before this? My house. <laughs> the house will be built from scratch in the time it takes me to beat Fargo's soul mod. I think that's kind of cool, actually. All right. Rainbow slime, please. All right. So, weird jump cut. Hello. Uh, I realized that I wasn't recording any audio for the game. I apologize. It should now be recording, but you're not going to notice that until, like, towards the end of the episode. That being said, I'm including this little clip from the future now... Because I'm shifting the tone of the episode from working on the, the bosses themselves to working on that mega accessory. Because I think we should embrace the grind of Fargo Soul mod. It is such a big part of this mod and I want to do it justice. So yeah, I you know tried a bunch of boss fights which I'm going to cut out the episode. I lost all of them as you can imagine. And then started working on rear enemies and stuff and yeah. Well anyway, I'm, enjoy the rest of the episode. This is really strange. Um, James from the future says peace. Right, so apparently, I just read on a comment from Bryce, um, apparently there is a, an item called the Battle Cry, which can actually increase spawns by 10%. So it makes getting some of the, the more rare things easier. That's kind of cool. So I think I'll work on that Battle Cry. Oh, wow. <laughs> you need 12 water candles. All right, I've got to get working on that. I don't think I, I've got one. <laughs> okay. Um, but the reason I'm looking this up is because I feel like I am at a loss. I don't think I can do these, these boss fights without some kind of crazy enchantment. And I feel bad. And maybe it's something I'm not getting. But I see a lot of people are like, all right, you need more enchantments. And I'm, I'm definitely down to make more. But I'm just struggling to figure out where to where to place them, for example. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, this is an accessory that can be swapped out. Totally agree. So, that gives one space. We need these. We need these. We need this, because this was like a big recommendation. We also need an iron enchantment. And then I guess this could also be swapped out. But, if we play as a mage, we also need like a mana flower thingy madoodle. So that kind of like only adds one more spot. So that's what I think I'm struggling with the most. I feel like I wish I had more accessory slots. I wish I had like seven or eight. I'd be I'd be like over the moon if I found out it was like, all right, you want seven accessory slots? Well, there's an enchantment that adds another spot for another enchantment that also adds another, another, another enchantment. It just keeps going. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be so happy. But yeah, I'm, I'm struggling today. I'm just not... I'm not getting any of these fights done. Like, I've tried to destroy it a couple of times now. Like, you know, mul multiple times today. Can't get any further than one third, unfortunately. 
And then I try the twins, and the second they're in the second phase, I, like, quite literally have no chance. Not unless I had, like, just tons and tons and tons of immunity frames and such. But a crazy rare accessory might actually be the key, because that's what this mod is all about. All right, here it is. Uh, the Battle Cry increases spawn rates by 10 times on use. Use it again to decrease them. I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> the only thing is, is killing the rear enemies themselves is really hard. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, I'm going to spawn in some rain because we're going to work on the rainbow slime. There's a lot that goes into this. Let me just show you again. So bio, here it is. So there's a lot to get. So I'm just going to slowly work on all of these. I'll probably have to do a lot of jump cuts today. Oh, that's a good point. How do I get this? How do I get the carrot? Because I need a a present, don't I? Present. What is it you... Oh, snow globe. Snow globe. All right. There's probably a, a way to spawn it in. Magic snow globe. Allows the storage unit to craft snow biome recipes. All right. It's not what I need. I need an actual snow globe. Um... Or is there a way to, to craft presents? Let's see. No. All right. I, I'll probably... I'll, I'll look into this. I'll Google that one. So I should say, straight up, I did have to spawn in a snow globe. Mainly because the only way to make it Christmas, to my understanding, is to change the clock on your computer. Now, the only problem is, because I have licenses to programs, if I change the clock on my computer too much, it, it freaks out and thinks I'm... I don't know, I'm pirating all my software. So I, I couldn't do that. So I had to, to spawn one in, but yeah. Now I have a bunch of snowmen and a bunch of just horrible enemies in my way. This is this is nightmare fuel. This is really bad, but that's all right. So yeah, we're looking for a rear item from these enemies. The only thing with this is, I wonder if once this is done, we'll be able to respawn this in without cheats. I think we should be able to, it should be fine. Hey, there we go. Ordinary carrot. Baller. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Good. So that's step one. Not bad. I turned off the, the battle horn thing because <laughs> already too much. What is that? Whoa, that is a cool little enchantment. I quite like that. That's sick. All right, now to now to work on a rainbow slime, which we've learned the hardest part is, is not finding it. It's killing it. All right, here it is. All right, we're not dying this time. We're doing it. We're committing to it. Tell you what I'm going to do is keep my distance this time. This actually reminds me genuinely, now that I'm seeing it, it actually reminds me of um, of Queen Slime. Like, do you, do you know what I mean? Oh my god, if it works... Oh, it, it does! It works through every slime, doesn't it? Oh god. <laughs> what? I wonder if it counts as beating it once you've beaten the big one. I reckon it probably does. I reckon that's where we're heading. Let me double check that. Why is the Frost Legion still going? What? <laughs> this was meant to be despawned, please. Oh no, <laughs> Terraria, what's going on? Hey, look at that. I was right. Diluted rainbow matter. Okay, awesome. So I can spawn those in any time now. So I'll get, I'll get working on that. Hey, there we go. Concentrated rainbow matter. So we edge ever closer. So I'm probably gonna, you know, cut a bunch of this out, but I now have to do the goblin army so that I can get one of the rare items, which is from the goblin sorcerer. I imagine this is just gonna be a lot of pain. So that's why I'm cutting it out. But yeah, just wanted to let you know so that you have an idea. Let's make those spawn rates increased, <laughs> which is honestly a terrible idea I've come to realize. This episode has now become the hunt for this accessory. I should clarify. I'm probably going to chop it up a little bit differently. But I think it'll be worth it. You know, making a mega accessory. If you like the grind, I think you'll like today's episode. I don't know. It's a hard one. Right. So this is already good to see. Uh, but the Goblin Sorcerer is not as hard as you would expect. Considering some of the mini bosses we've fought in this series so far have been absolutely awful. So did we get it? We did not. That's fine. But we crack on anyway. But yeah, that's that's good to see. That actually makes me happy. I think the good thing about her is the fact that she actually flies towards you. So when you use a weapon like this, it, it really, really works. So I can, I can appreciate a thing like that. Thank you. And there it is. The Wretched Pouch. So that's just another item off the list. 
So now what we're looking for is Tim and also a rune wizard. And I think the good thing about this one is because I'm basically just here, the only thing that's really going to come after me is teleporting enemies, or at least like hopefully, and the rest are going to get killed by lava. This wasn't like purely intentional, but it's just kind of worked out that way, which is great. But yeah, th these two shouldn't be too hard to get. I don't find... They are rare enemies, but they're not like ultra, ultra rare. You know, they're manageable. Hey, there we go. So there is Tim. Tim has been defeated, right? Oh, no, wait. Tim's still alive. <laughs> He's up here. He lives to tell the tale. Does he just stop you from using magic around him? Is that, is that Tim's ability? Because that's actually pretty legit. There we go. All right. Tim is dead. Awesome. Great. <laughs> and a rune wizard. Hey. All right. Awesome. 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 This is really, really good for us. Although this wizard is... Uh, the, oh, God. <laughs> He's so hard to kill. All right. But we got Tim. That's that's the main part. Well, it's one of the main parts. It's a, it's a contributing factor. <laughs> I just got to make sure Tim dies. Oh, sorry. The rune wizard dies. Right. So checking in uh, the progress towards the mega accessory has been going very good so far. I've just taken down a rune wizard and I've got the rune wizard item, uh, which is good because we don't need to farm for it, which is great. Uh, but now I'm working on the one that comes from the pirate invasion. And then once I've done that, we just need to work on the jungle mimic. And then for the rest of them, we already have the summons for those rare enemies. Well, kind of rare. For example, we need one from the Wyvern. We need one from Ice Golem. And those are all enemies we know we can beat. But yeah, we have to be a flying Dutchman to do this. I think this might have been a bad idea. Let me just stop. Let me stop. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, let me decrease these. Um, What? An item was stolen from me? I bet it was my elf potions. Oh, no, it's my, my battle cry. <laughs> oh, God, I need that. Don't be taking that. I worked really hard on that. What are you doing? Yeah, um, yeah, we just got to kill a, uh, uh, a boat. I can't remember the name of it. Why am I struggling to remember the name of that? It's because I'm flustered thinking about my poor battle cry. All right, here it is. Great. Yeah, we need a flying Dutchman. There you go. I need to kill a flying Dutchman. All right, here it is. The flying Dutchman. The man himself. The boat of all time. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's get working on this. The good thing about this one, once again, is this is another little mini boss that does follow you. So the good thing about this is it should hopefully walk into our little, like, um, weapons that we're throwing out. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to beat it, though. It seems pretty tough. I mean, I'm kind of alive right now because I've healed. But obviously, without the ability to heal, it might get even worse. I don't know. Okay, well, that's two down. You've only got to beat four cannons, so it's it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. I do wonder as well, do you think these can be spawned in again? Like, do you think they're, like, rare enemies to the, you know, to the NPC? I do wonder. That would be cool if that was true. All right, there we go. We got nothing. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Um, so let's go back to, to spawn. Let's quickly check. Uh, Deviant. Hello. Uh, do you sell... All right, that's for the rune wizard, so that's new. These are mimics. No, I don't think it is. Is it? Maybe. No, that's clowns. Because you see here, it, it has the goblin summoner, but it doesn't have the flying Dutchman, which is part of this. That's pretty strange, to be honest. I, I kind of expected that to be different. It don't really matter. Um, I'm sure more will spawn in, for example. So it's pretty chill in that sense. Right, so a bit of a jump cut. Um, Actually, do you know what? I'm going back. <laughs> I need to grab a, a hunter's potion. So most of the farming has now been done. Uh, the only thing I need is I need... I need to kill Deviant again to get the energy, which is fine. Like, we can deal with that. I mean, hopefully. Like, you would hope so. Uh, and then what's the other thing? Yeah, jungle mimics. That's what we need so the thing with jungle mimics is I can't find a way to, to spawn them in. Like, you would assume that you would use, like, a key of night or a key of light. You know, I, I'm just kind of figuring, oh, am I going to use a key of grass? Not quite. Um, so I think what we've got to do is we've just got to go underground, activate the horn, and hope that we get lucky and have one spawn in. Fourth, 
this was the one I was most scared of because of the fact that in reality, underground jungle's really hard. And if you increase all the spawn rates and stuff, it's going to get really rough. But I'm assuming that once we kill it the once, we'll be able to, to spawn it in and farm it from there. But yeah, everything has been done. It's it's not... A, yeah, it was all right. It's, it's been all right today. I've been recording for like... It's, yeah, three and a half hours. <laughs> I, guess, I guess to be fair, it took longer than I thought. But, you know, it's going well. I need, what I need actually here is a big open area so that if it does spawn in, I've got an area to fight. Now, this is the ideal spot, but the only problem is, is, is we're going to die. Like, if I, if I start increasing spawns and stuff, I don't think we'll survive, but I guess try it out and see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's rough. It is rough. Maybe one will just spawn in naturally and that'll be fine. So, my plan with the Jungle Mimic so far has been, basically, activate the horn, wait a couple of seconds, turn off the horn, and just pray. <laughs> just pray that whatever is spawned in, you can beat. So, I've just been doing this, right? You turn on the horn, you wait a couple of seconds, you turn it off, alright? Now, let's see. Jungle Mimic, not quite. Yeah, this is the only thing with the elusive jungle mimic. I just don't even know how to get it or if it exists or, you know, if there's a certain way to, to spawn it in. I'm just assuming it just spawns naturally. But as you can see right now, I'm like really struggling to, to take on what's around. This is a rough biome to, to farm in. But like I say, you only need to kill one. You kill one and then you can just spawn in the rest, which is amazing. That's one of the perks of this mod, the fact that it's like, hey, Got a lot of grinding, but we'll make it as easy as possible. But it's still grinding. It's still good. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. I get it. I get it. You can just craft it. All right. And I knew this. I knew this because we looked at it. But it was so long ago. All right. So, souls of night and light. And you also need to get some of that deviant stuff. So, I'm actually kind of glad that I was kind of forced to, to do a little bit of farming. Look at that. Fang Ballista. <laughs> I'm glad I was forced to do a little bit of farming in that sense in the jungle because I'd not actually done anything there. So what is the what's the thing we need? Deviant There we go. Alright, this is what we need. Deviant's curse. This is what we're gonna use. Alright. <laughs> well let me get working on this. I'm glad I didn't actually spend too long in there. Probably only like ten minutes, if that. Maybe twenty, but that's okay. Now I've gotta work on killing this again. <laughs> Let's see if it's achievable. I haven't farmed this. This is the only thing. I've only ever beaten this one once. We didn't farm it because we obviously um, didn't need to in the end. I'll tell you what. That's one thing I've got to watch out for. Is It has that special attack, doesn't it? I can't remember what the special attack... Oh, it's the Medusa one. That's it. All right. It's got to be careful of the Medusa one. This is obviously a lot easier now that you can fly and such. All right. There you go. That's how you avoid that attack. <laughs> Man, it's so strange. This was like the crux of many episodes, this boss. And now we're kind of stomping it a little bit. Hey, there's the mimic we need, actually, Deviant. Could you uh, could you just give us one of those for free? <laughs> All right, there it is. The jungle chest. Bam. All right, so we're looking for uh, an item from this. But also, we're just kind of looking to, to do it anyway. Because people have been recommending this for a while. Because apparently it has some, some sick weapons. But I did look at the weapons, admittedly. I remember I, I did look at them a while ago. And they were just kind of not with our build right now. That might have been judging too fast, though. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay, right. Let's kill it off. There we go. Did we get the item we needed? We actually did. We got the tribal charm. And we got the overgrown key, which is a summoning weapon. This does 14. This does 40. Oh, look at that. Got a very own jungle mimic. I like that. That is cool. Right. So with that being said, that is the final ingredient for what we needed. Or at least I, I, I think it is. So, oh, there you go. Bionomic cluster. So here's what it does. This is why we farmed for it. It grants immunity to Frostburn, Shadow Flames, Squeaky Toy, Guilty, Mighty Winds, and Suffocation. Grants immunity to the Flames of the Universe, Clipped Wings, Crippled Webs, Grants immunity to Lovestruck, Stinky, Midas, Hexed, Cactus Damage, and Enemies Steal Items. Your intacts can inflict Clipped Wings, Spawn, 
frost fireballs, sand produces hearts, you have auto fire, improved night vision, faster respawn when no boss is alive, you automatically use mana potions when needed, attacks have chance to squeak and deal one damage to you, you erupt into shadow flame tentacles when injured and respawn with more life. Certain enemies will drop potions when defeated and a 50% discount on reforges. Summons a friendly rainbow slime used to teleport to your last death and right click to zoom. That was it. That was it. We actually did it. I'm actually proud of us. The first thing that I have legitimately grinded for in this game in a really long time. And I say legitimately because it took a really long time. There's a lot that went into this to go over it. Rainbow slime. Ice golem. Which one was this one? Was this one the, the rune wizard? The nymphs. This was like back in the day. Sand elementals. This one was the, the pirate ship that I had to do. Squeaky toy was corrupt critters. Tim's concoction. I got a few of those. Tribal charm. Look at it. It's glorious. Bam. And it also takes potions for you. So that negates the need for the mana flower. Right. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we win. Tomorrow will be the end of this saga. I guarantee you. This is what we needed. This is everything. This is awesome. Right, so with that, I'm going to round up the episode there. As you can tell, my voice is going. I've been recording a long time today. Some of you keep asking, will I upload like raw four-hour footage? I will not. I'll tell you why. It's because I don't talk during all of it. I only talk when I think it's necessary. That's why I, I don't do it, if you, if you are curious. Right, so shout out to our channel members as always. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Bit of a different episode today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Right, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.